Hello everyone and welcome back to Stick RPG. On the last episode of Stick RPG, I told you guys I would do another video if the video got 3,000 likes. I don't normally set like goals, but I thought I would just for fun. And the video got 7,000 likes? Like, holy shit! I have never had a video get that many likes in like a week, so that was really awesome. Thank you guys so much. I know that like likes aren't really that important. I don't really care that much about how many likes a video gets, but it is nice to see that you guys are enjoying something and take a second to actually hit the like button and support it. So thank you for that. Today what we're going to do is we're actually going to pick up from uh, where I left off, not in the video, but I actually went today, I went and played some so that I would be up to a point where we were in the last video. So right now, this is my dude. I'm kind of low on health, but only because I have a bunch. Uh, my stats are... 7 Charm, 253 Intelligence, 50 Strength, and 100 Karma. So I'm basically the nicest dude in the entire world. And I have 5.7 grand. Cool. So the game is unlimited this time, which means that we can do whatever the hell we want for as long as we want. Um, I've just been, like, going to work and stuff, making some money. I'm CEO again, so that's all good. Um, and I also figured out how to go to the other towns. So if you combine caffeine pills with an alarm clock, you can actually wake up when the clock has no blue in it whatsoever, and that's what you need to do if you want to go somewhere. So now, I, th I think it might take some time to buy uh, buy cocaine. I'm not completely sure on that. Let's just see what happens here. If we go talk to this dude who wants to sell us cocaine, um, no, it doesn't cost uh, it doesn't cost any time to buy cocaine. So we just bought all our money in cocaine. We just spent all our money on cocaine. That was like I don't know, 15 bags of cocaine, 15 grams of cocaine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Detroit and sell our commodities. I just really want to go to Detroit, okay? Damn. You take one step out of the bus in Detroit and are jumped by three guys and a chick. They take all your money and your stash. Maybe you should be packing heat next time. Okay. Alright. Well, that was a great way to start it. <laughs> that was a great little vacation to Detroit. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna get some health. I'm gonna get a gun. And I'm going to go back. And nobody is gonna kill me, okay? Nobody. All right, let's go sell our commodities in Detroit. You strut down the city streets looking for action, a gang of street toughs with baseball bats eye you and walk in your direction. You pull out your gun and fire. Click. You've got no bullets. They have a home run derby contest on your ass and take your stash of money. I'm an idiot. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to do this, okay, because this time it's going to work. Uh, how many caffeine pills do I have right now? Since I came into the wrong store, I might as well buy some more caffeine pills, guys. Then I'm going to go to the pawn shop. And I'm gonna buy ammo. It wasn't there first, because I bought all the stuff, and I was like, okay, I bought all the stuff, but I forgot you have to go back and buy ammo. So let's buy a whole lot of... That's all I can buy. Okay, well, thank you very much. I was trying to say I was buying a bunch of ammo, but never mind. Did you guys know you can actually um, exploit this game? You can load save, so what you can do is you can go play blackjack and double your money and save and just keep going back and reloading until you win again, and you keep doubling your money until eventually you're a freaking millionaire. But we're not probably not gonna do that. We might do it later. Uh, you can also invest in stocks and things, so I'm probably gonna do that instead. Oh, we don't need to do that. We can just go to uh, Detroit now. Do I have any uh, drugs? No, I don't have any drugs. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna screw this up, guys, because now I got everything. I am going to Detroit, and nobody is gonna hurt me. In fact, I'm gonna hurt other people instead, okay? And I'm gonna sell my drugs. Shit! Something happened because I have zero dollars now. You get out the bus and walk the streets of Detroit. You come across a dark alley and hear noises from behind. Three large cats attacking you from all sides, leaving you unconscious near a dumpster. A passing bum raised your wallet and your stash. You're weak as a kitten. <sighs> okay. Alright, I see how it is. So, so Detroit is a hard place, okay? It's a tough city. I understand. Okay, the rappers rap about it. And they, they say it's pretty bad. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a whole lot of money. And I'm going to get a whole lot of strength. And I'm gonna go back to Detroit, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of everybody. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, there's a sign down here that says no busting caps. What if I bust a cap anyway? Put your hands up. Uh... You got caught. Your charm wasn't enough to pull it off, or you just weren't lucky enough. In either case, you got thrown in jail for five days. This is just brutal, guys. I cannot catch a break. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to bed. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? Because I know that there's no way that I can end up getting thrown in jail or beaten up or losing all my money. I'm gonna go to Fine Line Furnishings and buy some furniture for my house, okay? I'm gonna get a coma snooze bed, plus 10 HP per sleep heal. And I'm gonna go to electronics. I can't go to electronics. Okay, those are just arrows. Leave and go back in and there's nothing here. I'm gonna go over here now and I got a nicer bed, I guess. I don't even know. There. Is there anything else I can buy here now? 
Really? You won't sell me anything. That's all I can get is a freaking bed. Well, screw you guys. I'm just gonna go over here and and go down here and get into a bar fight. That's what I need to do, okay? I need to beat the shit out of people. Three attack points, so I'm going to fireball this ass. Okay. Good. Another fight, another fireball. What? It took off two? How did it take off two? It took off 14 this time. All right, you win. Strength increase by three. Okay, so this is the best way to do it. I was wondering if I should go and try and, like, you know, get strength at the at the school. But no, nah, man. I'm just going to keep fireballing people. That's all it, you really need to do. Oh, yeah, you think that's going to do the trick? Yeah, no. No, because I got fireballs and you're dead. They're getting harder, guys. This isn't good. I need to get my strength up before I come back here because I'm probably going to end up dead. That took off three. Oh, yeah, punch me. That's a good boy. See where that leads you. It leads you to being dead. And I got 62 strength now. Now I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to school and get some strength that way. We'll come back when we have 100 strength and we'll keep going, okay? Just just so we don't end up getting super beat up. I don't like that. I don't like getting beat up. And there, the strength is at 100. We're gonna go to the bar and we're gonna get in some more bar fights. Oh, you only got 44 health. I got six attack points, bitch. Pure energy in your ass. Wow. And a, no, I can't do a fireball. I can kick you in the face. There. Go ahead, shoot a fireball at me. That took off a lot. I should probably, you know, replenish my health before I come back here again. But here you go. Boom. Whoa. Okay, that took off a lot. That that was insane. I'm gonna drink a beer. So even though you get three strength each time you beat someone up in a bar fight, guys, it's still better to just go to school and lift weights because, you know, at school you can do, I think, 12 in a day. Because you get up and there's 12 hours in a day. So yeah, you can do 12 in a day at the gym. Um... And it only takes a few seconds, but if you get into fights, you have to wait for each fight to be over and you only get three each time. So I think I'm just going to do this for a little bit. Maybe I have enough that I can actually go to Detroit now and not get beat up by cats. That's all I want, man. I mean, I think that's all anyone wants in life. To be able to go to Detroit and not have to worry about beat getting beaten up by a bunch of cats. Here goes nothing. Please do not beat me up, Detroit cats. Okay. You get off the bus and walk down the street, you come across a dark alley, and it's cats again, guys. It's freaking cats. They're large cats at the very least, but still, I am not that weak, man. I got 150 strength. I'm just, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna get 250 strength. And I'm gonna go back again, and I'm gonna beat up those cats. All right, so I stopped at 200 strength, guys, but I'm hoping that 200 is gonna be enough to not get beat up by cats. So now I need to grab uh, some money, and then I gotta grab some drugs, and then I gotta go to Detroit. You wouldn't think it would be so hard to do, man. I thought it was gonna be so easy. You just gotta get there, but nope. Something will always go wrong. You arrive in the city with nothing to sell unless you would just enjoy long, expensive bus rides. You should probably stock up before you go again. I'm not very smart. I am not smart at all. Okay, well this time, we'll buy some cocaine first. Yeah. You've arrived in the city and have received the following offer. Five grams of cocaine for $520. Really? Okay, do I have to sell it first to like to get my name out there? Cause what doesn't one gram of cocaine cost four hundred bucks? I'm gonna take it. Okay, just just so this guy can be like, yo, man, there's a guy. He comes into town. He sells cocaine. And he's a nice guy. And then when I go back again, it's gonna be better, right? Yeah. I still got a cell phone. That's for establishing contacts. So hopefully I get some more contacts now. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. We have seven grams of cocaine. Let's see what we can get for seven grams of cocaine in, in Detroit. You meet some new contacts behind an abandoned building. Everything seems to be going well as you strike up a deal. All of a sudden, you get hit from behind by a blunt object. As you lie in the pavement, you realize what just happened. You've been screwed. Your stash got jacked. This, this, is, this is just emotionally traumatizing for me, guys. I just want to sell drugs and not get harmed, okay? That's it. I should try a different city. <laughs> maybe, just maybe... If we try, like, Los Angeles, we'll do better. I mean, movie stars need drugs, right, guys? Lots of movie stars are on lots of drugs, so let's try it. Let's go to Los Angeles. You've arrived in the city and have received the following offer. 12 grams of cocaine for 600 bucks. You can suck it, okay? I'm not selling you 12 grams of cocaine for such a cheap amount of money. God damn it. What am I going to do? I guess I got to stop doing this, guys. I got to stop trying to sell drugs because it doesn't work, okay? And my karma's probably going down, is it? For, you know, selling drugs. Nope, 100, 100 karma. Whatever. Let's try going to Las Vegas. I don't have enough money to go to Las Vegas. Well, I'll go to Chicago. You've arrived in the city, you can't find anyone to buy from. Better luck next time, chump. You know what? I've given up. I have given up. I will no longer be trying to sell drugs. Some people may be happy for me. Some people are going to be disappointed. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just... I can't handle it anymore. Let's just go get a nice house, okay? That, that's much better. Make some money, buy a house. What does the bank say? Bank says... 
I can rob the place, or I can get a loan, or I can buy real estate. Okay, I can get a castle for 500,000, a mansion for 100k, penthouse suite for 50, and a bigger apartment for 25. Mmm, I think we should just go one at a time on it. I'm gonna put money in the bank though, because it, it, it gains interest, I think. 0.3%, but it'll go up, okay? Deposit. There. I made $7. $7 on the 2400 bucks I had in the bank. Alright, well, hang on now. Hang on. Make some more money and bring it to you as well. Here you go. Take this money. Go. Do you guys think I could get away with robbing a bank? I'm gonna see if I can get away with robbing a bank. Here we go. You got cut. Your charm wasn't enough to pull it off. Or you just weren't lucky enough in either, in either case, you got thrown in jail for five days. Okay, so you can't rob a bank. Not at my charm level. I have like 10 charm. It's just not going to happen. I still can't hotwire this car either. I got to get like 340, um, 340 intelligence or something. Uh, it's, it's a weird number like that, I think. Somebody told me in the comments. Thanks to that person. To be honest, guys, I think it's time we tried the blackjack exploit here. So we just saved our game. We're going to go down to the casino with our 9,600 bucks. We're going to bet it on a game of blackjack, and we are either going to win, or we're going to reload. Play blackjack, bet a whole lot of money. Oh, 500s. Here we go. That'll be quicker. Okay, so I bet all that money, and now I'm going to deal. Hit me. Hit me again. I busted. Okay, I better try again. Okay, now we'll try this again, considering it didn't work so well the first time, and I got dealt a bad hand. Totally wasn't my fault. I'm going to bet all my money. There you go. And I'm going to deal. Hit me. Stand. Dealer bust and I win. Now I got 19,000 bucks, guys. Okay, so if I win another couple times, I'll have a lot of money. But I think I'm just going to buy a house, okay? I just wanted a little bit more money so that I could um, afford to buy a house. And I think with the money I got here and the money I got in the bank, I should be able to do that. Stock market's where it's at, man. That's what I like to do. So, 7,000 bucks withdrawn. Okay, and I'm going to buy real estate. And I'm going to buy a bigger apartment. Okay, so now I might be able to buy some more stuff for it, too, because uh, they didn't give me any, like, furniture. They wouldn't let me buy any, but now I got a nicer apartment. Look at that. Mm. I don't know when I actually get to start trading stocks, but it's not yet because I'm still at that crappy apartment. Look, now I can do it because I get a computer, a Circuit Breaker 5 as a computer. There. Now if I go back to my apartment, I can browse stocks. Use computer, buy and sell stocks. You just got to check and see what stuff is doing really well, okay? Let's just say we go with MLG, okay? I'm going to buy all the money that I can in MLG, okay? Mm, buy, buy, buy. Oh, hang on a second. 100 stocks there okay about 100 stocks of that thingy i'm gonna sleep now i'm gonna wake up i'm gonna buy and sell and mlg went up by 0.83 so i'm actually going to um sleep again and wake up and see what it did this time it went back down so i can still um i can still make a little bit of money off it so if i sell 100 stocks okay now i have slightly more money now what you need to do when you're selling when you're buying and selling stocks you got to look and see which one is at rock bottom i think zero is the lowest it can go you buy them at $1, and then you wait for it to go up even a little bit, and you sell it, and you make a lot of money. Okay, trust me on this one. Okay, so as you can see, the FSY stock is now down to 1.17. That is really cheap, so we are going to buy 8,000 stocks. Can I do 8,000? 7,000 stocks. I think we can do seven. There we go. Okay, so now we just got to sleep for a little bit, okay? And when we go back and check, it's going up a little bit. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so it just went down to a dollar, but that's not a big deal, guys. Don't worry, a dollar is fine. Just went up 0.8. So if I sold now, it'd actually make a lot of money, but I'm going to let it go up even more because I think this stock could really get off the ground here, okay? Oh, 0.72. Okay, okay. 0.56. This thing is going crazy. 0.86. I'm getting so much money out of this stocks right now, and you can buy as much as you want. Okay, it went down again, so I'm just going to sell because I'm getting really worried. Boom. 26,000 bucks now. So I just got to pick the lowest stock again, which is SAR, and I got to put all my money into it. 26,740 stocks, please. Boom. Now we just got to wait for it to go up even a couple days. Like, this is wait a couple days, go back in, and it went up by a tiny bit. We'll wait again, and it went up by 0.72, and you wait again, and it went down. And God damn it, just go up a little bit, man. I'm going to, like, sleep for a week and come back, okay? It's still at a dollar. You suck. So now you guys can see that the 26,000 units we bought in SAR is now worth 272, and we have FSY and XGS, they're both at zero now. Or not zero, they're at one. So that's the lowest they can go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell all these now, 26,740 of them, and I'm gonna buy this buy $72,000 worth of stocks in XGen Studios. Pretty crappy studio, I don't know man, might be throwing my money away, but we'll see. There we go, 72,000 stocks. So now we just got to sleep even once. Like, there's no way we could possibly lose on this. That's the great part about it. 
because <laughs> it's, you know, it only goes so low. So even just a little bit then got us a lot of money, but I want to get up above two before I do anything. XGS is literally the worst stock in this game. Like, holy crap. How many days have I spent now? You guys can see from the cut that I just made in the video that I spent a long time trying to get this stock up and it just will not go up. It just would rather go down all the time. It's at 1.48 right now. I just wanted to go up above two so I can sell it. And I also just noticed, guys, oh, hang on a second. One more day, one more day, and we got it, above two. I just noticed, guys, that uh, all the abbreviations here are XGN Studios games. Obviously, the first one is XGS, which is XGN Studios. Then there's FSY, which is Fishy. DYC, which is Defend Your Castle. MLG, which is... I'm not completely sure. SR2, I'm not really sure what it is, but SAR is uh, Stick Arena, I guess. But anyway, it's not really uh, relevant right now. What's relevant is that we sell $72,000 worth of stock. Well, not 72, it's worth um, 100 and something thousand now. So now we have $146,000. We can buy ourselves a really nice house. We can't afford the castle, but I don't really like the castle that much. I would much rather have. Whoop, hang on. That's not the bank. I would much rather have a mansion, okay? So here's our mansion, we got uh, the same stuff as normal, but if we go down to the furniture store, we should be able to get some uh, more furniture. Yeah, we can get uh, a treadmill, that brings up your strength, a deep freeze for um, sleeping, apparently it brings up your health when you sleep, Stickopedia Exgenica for, oh, it brings up your intelligence while you sleep, that's cool, and a TV, because it's a TV, okay, you can't go around with a TV. Okay, so if you watch TV, guys, it brings up your intelligence like a bunch. Look at that. And, like, it doesn't even take very much time at all. It takes one, half an hour to watch TV, so you can get a lot of intelligence this way. So we're going to get our intelligence up high enough to hotwire a car. It's not even a big deal. Like, the hotwired car doesn't even go much faster than a skateboard. But I'm going to do it. Now, please tell me that 350 intelligence is enough to hotwire a car, because I'm pretty sure it is. You did it! Anytime you want to get behind the wheel, just press C. If you want to stop driving, press C again. So now the car is gone, and it's in my pocket, because... Boom, Okay, so it's a bit faster than a skateboard. Not crazy or anything. We still got our skateboard as well. Let me see. Okay. So, yeah, that's how fast the skateboard goes, and this is how fast the car goes. See so, yeah, it? A little bit of a speed boost. Pretty cool. Let's drop the edge. Fun. Day 365. Hello, this is the game developer calling to say congratulations. You managed to play for an entire virtual year. You now own a sports car. Press C to toggle when walking. Okay. I already had a sports car. I stole it. But this what's better. Oh, damn. Is it faster? I almost want to say it's faster. Guys, um... Oh, I got into a car accident, but I'm good. I got a little bit obsessed, okay? I got a little bit obsessed with the, uh, the stock market. <laughs> and I've just been sitting here, sleeping, and watching my stocks go up and down. I just really want to make some money. And I haven't even made a whole lot. Because one stock went up, and I decided not to sell. And another stock was at one, and I should have just bought that stock. Sold the good stock... Bought that stock at one, and now I'll, it's all the way up to seven. Like, I'm such an idiot, and I feel really crappy, but I'm just going to keep doing it, okay? Because it's all I care about right now. I just want to make money on the stock market. So after obsessing about stocks for a very, very long time, guys, it is now day 532. I have 29 charm, 698 intelligence, 545 strength, and 100 karma. I'm going to go buy myself a castle, first of all, okay? Because that sounds like a great idea. Here's a castle. It's mine. I'm gonna go to it. There it is. Someone's knocking on my door, but you can't come in, okay? Because this is my castle, you little bitch. And, uh, save the game. I'm not really sure if you can, uh, get new furniture. You can. You can get a satellite system and a mini bar, And that gives you charm while you sleep. I should have done this long ago. Well, I couldn't afford it. But still, that's really good. Because if you have charm, then you can actually, I don't know, rob banks and stuff? I'm just gonna sleep a little bit and get some more charm and intelligence and all that fun stuff. Great. I might invest in the stocks a little bit more, guys. I'm really obsessive over the stocks. I just, I love watching them go up and down, man. It's like a little roller coaster. Ooh, guys, there's a dating channel. So you can actually get your charm up by watching the dating channel now. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And you can get your fitness up watching the fitness channel. Does pretty good two each time. This is not bad, man. When you're rich and you live in a castle, you can get all kinds of crazy shit. I just need to get into one final bar fight, guys. I have 15 attack points now. I'm gonna do pure energy and see what happens. One hit! You just got completely wrecked. Not that I expected any otherwise, but I want to do it one more time, okay? I want to kill someone else. Yeah! 208 points are taken out that time. That is freaking awesome. I found 72 bucks in his wallet. Yay me! <laughs> it's not like I don't have $86,000 already. I think I'm just going to go home, guys, and I'm going to sleep in my bed. There you go. Lovely.
Okay, guys, so that's all the other stuff you can do in Stick RPG, aside from the robbery, which didn't work because we don't have very much charm, but I don't really feel like getting my charm up. It doesn't really matter. We have lots of money anyway. We live in a freaking castle, for God's sakes. We're a CEO with a whole lot of money who lives in a castle, and on some days, he likes to go and sell some drugs in cities where he gets ripped off. I don't know, man. It's a complicated life. I'm going to end this video here, guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.